Come and join me, see, hallelujah. She will watch her out of me way. Come and join me, see, hallelujah. She will watch her out of me way. Come and join me, see, hallelujah. She will watch her out of me way. Come and join me, see, hallelujah. You want to see her, don't be where I don't leave from his name. 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 Thank you, Lord. I give you glory, Lord Jesus. You are able to do a no making to look. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus did do. He has done it for me. He should come, my friend. And so, so, and Jesus, they do. Almighty God, 
Jesus. Oh, son to I gave you glory, Lord Jesus. You are able, God, this morning. Everything about you is great, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Everything written about you is great. You 
You are great, yes you are. Holy one. Walk up on the sea. You raise it there. You great in majesty. Mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are 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 great. Everything written about you is great. You are great. You are great. Heavy glory, Lord. I worship you, Lord Jesus. Worship you today. Heavy all the praise. Yeah. Mighty, mighty God. Worship you today. Give me all the praise as you lift my voice to you. Praise is in our heart. Sing our voices, sing Lord. Everything written about you is great, Lord. Now, how do I shake it? Worship you today. We give you all the praise, Lord. As we live our hands to you, Lord. We praise in our heart. We raise our voice to sing. Everything written about you is great, Lord. Tremble are your presence. Hey! What a mighty God we serve. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about you is great. But tremble are your praises. Hey! What a mighty God we say. About you is great. 
You are great, yes, you are. Holy one. You walk upon the sea, you raise the dead. You move in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. Everything written about you is great. Everything written about you is great, Lord. Father, we give you glory, Lord. You are able, God. You are able, God. The God I answer prayer by fire. The God I move mountain. The God I cause water to fall. The God I pray for miracle. You are able, God. My shikin ya ra ra mo su tu mira. You are able, God. You are able, God. As you where our help come from, Lord. Our help come from you, Lord. You are able, God. My shikara. You are able, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for everything, Lord. You are able, God. How do I shake it? You are able, God. You are able, God. Ma shikara da da mo su tu bi da. You are able, God. My Father, my Father, we worship you, Lord, in the beauty of your holiness, Lord. Thank you, Lord. How do I shake it? This turf I love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to end. Till the new every morning, new every morning, grace and faithfulness. Yes, Lord. You are God alone. You are God alone. And I worship you. And I worship you. Your love is in my hands. Your love is so brand new. Right to hear us. I love this time with you. I bow before your throne. And You are God, Lord. 
Mashikara Musutuida. You are God, Lord. You are God, Lord. You are God, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Jesus, you are God, Lord. The God that do everything possible for his people. The God that perform miracles in the lives of his children. The God that provides for all the needs of the people according to Philippians 4 and verse 19. The Lord that gave us strength. The Lord that gave us hopes. The Lord that gave us comforts. The Lord that delivered us from our strong enemy. You are going alone this morning, this afternoon, this evening somewhere. You are going alone in our lives. And we worship you today. You are God alone. Thank you, Lord. Heart of a chicken. You are God alone. You are God alone. Thank you, Lord. You are God alone in our lives. You are God alone. Who is lying unto you? Oh, Lord. Who is lying unto thee? Oh Lord, amongst the gods, who is like thee? You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, glory wonders. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, uh, we enter. His cuts with this girl wounds in my heart. I will enter his church with praise. I will sing. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice so he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. If I gave God my lifetime, he takes care of me. He will never, never let me down. I will give God my lifetime. If I gave God my lifetime, he takes care of me. He will never, never let me down. I will give God my lifetime. My lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime. He takes care of me. He will never, never let me down. I will give God my lifetime. If I should live a holy life, why should I worry? And whom should I fear? I know my Lord, He will make a way, a way for me. I know my Lord, He will make a way, a way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. If I live a holy life, I know my Lord is going to make a way, a way for me. Why shall a prophet a man that you gain his whole world and lose your soul? Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. We thank you, Father, you are able. You are faithful to your children. You are able, God. Father, I thank you for this time, this hour, this minute, this second. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And according to Psalm 118 and verse 24. Lord, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. I welcome you in this place right now. I welcome you over this line, over your people, those who left their basic schedule to listen to the word of God, not to look at me. Father, I bless their lives. I pray today that their lives will never be the same, Father. We thank you, Lord God. 
We take it together collectively. You say where two or three are gathered in your name, you are in their midst according to Matthew 18 verse 20. Lord, we thank you. We burn every spirit that is not of God right now. We take authority in the realm of the spirit. Every evil arrow, every evil projection, we can we come against you by the blood of Jesus. Every spell that been released in the atmosphere, we terminate you, we abort you by the blood of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you all for coming. Please share and invite someone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It is important to me. I'm saved. It is important to me. My soul is set free. It is important to me. I'm saved. Me below and Below and Below and I lay a Me below Bella. Below and Below and I lay a Me below. Jesus, you are able, God. You are able to do what no man can do. Father, you are faithful to your people. You are wonderful. You are excellent. Your name is a stronger tower the righteous went into and they are safe. Heart of a shaking. Heart of a shaking. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are able. Thank you, Lord. You are faithful to your people. You are able to do a seed in the abundance. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you in the beauty of your holiness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. By the leading of the Holy Spirit, we're going to talk about. How do I should it? God's blessings or the Lord's blessings. But before proceeding to today's topic, I just gonna throw light on the previous topic that was talked about over the past days. We talk about being thankful to God or being grateful. Being thankful and being grateful to God. Many times we complain, we want, we nag, we are not happy over everything that is happening. Being thankful. The Bible told us to be thankful, but it was good to give thanks to God. When you wake up in the morning and you are breathing, say, Lord, I thank you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his love or his mercy endure forever. Since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reference and if for our God is a consuming fire. We'll talk about what it means to be thankful. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, it is said, we just always pray with our season, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the word of God in Christ Jesus for you. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 up to 18. We are called to give thanks not to just in the good circumstances, but in all circumstances. Sometimes when things happen to us or to you as people, to not dwell on the prevailing situation. But the Bible says we should give thanks in all seasons. 
in all circumstances, in all conditions, be it sickness, be it death, be it promotion, be it whatever that you are facing, the Lord says you should be thankful. Be thankful. Sometimes it's difficult to say, oh, how will I thank God when my daughter or my family member is dead? It is the word of God. No one put it there. The Lord is saying, be thankful. And it goes on to say, being thankful is a feeling. And being grateful is the action or is the act. When you are thankful, you feel so good. You wake up in the morning. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Tell on, thank you. Tell on. Tell Papa God, thank you. You will dance, you will worship God and give God thanks for the life you are living. It's not because you are jobless that you will not be thankful to God. No. The life you are living is worth millions or billions or trillions of dollars. There are many people who have money or who left riches, who left billions and trillions of dollars. They pray to be a life for all glory belong to God. They are not alive today. But you and I are alive today. Count it all joy to be alive. It is a privilege, a golden one for that matter. In Jesus' name. Often at times we complain. We don't say thanks to anybody. People who are thankful to God and thankful to, for those who have who care for them. As well as God's blessing to them. They are always happy. They are always contented. They always deal with issues positively. They don't dwell on negative aspect of issue they always look at the upper the bright side of issue in the morning instead of you being thankful you complain and outline all your problems instead of you telling the problem how big is your god you are not telling god how big the problems are you don't do that practice being thankful appreciate the children that serve you people that are being good to you imagine the children you brought in america or abroad you send them to school you endure every difficult times and challenges. They didn't even say thank you. to even buy you a thank you card. To say mom or dad or uncle or auntie, thank you for your effort, your sacrifices. But they decide to move out of your house or your apartment. They said they have arrived. They are now grown up. They can take their own decision. And besides, they know how to use GPS. They know how to drive. They have driver's license. They can go anywhere they feel like. They can buy their own plane ticket. So no one is to detect to them. This is the same way we treat God. Because we feel we have arrived. Before you came to America, you know how you fasted and pray. How you roll in the swamps, in the, in the sand. How you went to the private churches. How you went to every demonic altar. How you went to everywhere, every prophecy you went there. How you sold all your expensive jewels to come to America. How people stood for you. How people sold their land for you. But you are not even thankful to those people to remember them, to even call them anymore. You blocked their, their numbers. You are so basic. You have arrived. That's the same way we treat God. If you so bad, if you so disappointing, when someone you take care of just turn their back on you for no just reason. Mm. It feels so bad. It's the same way God has taken care of us. There were several wars. Many lives were destroyed. And were taken away. But you go over dead bodies. You went into exile. You smell leaves. You say, oh God, I wish if I eat this. Will it not be harmful? Will it not be deadly? It is, it, is it not a person's leaf? You cook all those leaves. You ate all the bubble jam. Every good thing you did, you ate. All the bar leaves. You ate all the pan cabbage. All the bubble jam. Everything the Lord took you places to conscious. People in those countries, citizens took care of you. They hosted you in their homes. Some of you were not even paying rent. Some of you were living as if there was no war. 
But you have forgotten those people who were once there for you. Who met you at the point of your knees. Some of us went to the banks of rivers. In Guinea, we crossed you Nongawa, Makona rivers. We were there. People came to our rescue. But how many of us often remember those people who met us at the bank of the rivers where all hope was dashed? Do you still remember those people to even be thankful? To even intercede for them? And even there were no telephone number. Let's say there were no telephone number. Do you even seek for acquaintances who know those people to establish contact? To say, oh, I was once in exile and somebody did good for me. But I don't know. Be like David. And went into the house of Saul looking for any survivor for, for in the house of Saul because of Jonathan. But do you often remember any good someone did for you? You only complain and you fall forth on everything. Nothing is ever pleasing to you. They don't know how to cook. They don't know how to dress. The pastor don't know how to preach. His sermon is so, so much a mistake. You create, you create a side. You are so critical of everything. You analyze everything in your own way. Stop that. God doesn't like it. May the Lord deliver us. Stop it. Stop being critics. You don't even appreciate your president, your governor, your city mayor, your police commissioner, your police director, your superintendent, even your market, your market hair, your LMA, your marketing hairs in your respective country. You don't respect anyone. You wouldn't allow the faults, the mistakes, the, the negative things. There's only one you dwell on. You don't think, you never recognize any good thing someone did for you. Not even the president. The yardstick you use to judge others is the same yardstick others are going to use to judge you tomorrow. Be a critic, international critics. Find fault on everything people did. There are good things that some of them do. Though there are challenges, things are engulfing in their surroundings are not somehow pleasant, but there are good things that these people have done. Please speak of those good things. It's important. God put them in leadership. Romans 13 verse 1 reminds us to respect those in leadership. Please don't forget. If you don't respect those in leadership, leadership is, is governed by God. Believe it or you leave it. Leave them, let God deal with anybody. It can be your church leader, your religious leaders. Do not judge them because they are eating the money. You find complain. Oh, this and that. Pray for them to do the right thing. Pray for them. Let the Holy Spirit be with them and remind them of taking care of the widows, the orphans in the churches. But stop being critical on them. May the Lord deliver us today in Jesus' name. Having said so, we're going to proceed with our today's topic. God's blessings or the Lord's blessings. What do we mean by the Lord's blessing? What do we mean by the Lord's blessing or God's blessing? Many of us are seeking blessings all over the places today because we feel God is so slow. God is so, you are losing your patience. You have gone to other places. You have no business going. You have compromised your faith as a child of God, as a believer. The Lord's blessing. The blessing of the Lord is God's origin or original plan for you. Contrary to popular belief, he doesn't want you sick, broke, and lonely. He wants to make you rich in every area of life, your health, your finances, your relationships, and more. But sometimes, we, we lost it. We lost it. We lost it. There are so many Bible verses to prove the God blessings for us. Genesis 28 for 3 says, May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you. Teacher number 111, The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times as many as you are and bless you as he has promised you. God promised Abraham to bless him. We all know the story. He changed the name from Abraham to Abraham. 
But sometimes we question God. Why is it things are not happening in your own way? In order for you to receive blessings from God, cleanse your mind, cleanse up your heart. And in a fullest sense, as God himself remove your desire from impure thinking and impure ways of acting. God purifies your being from the inside. Seeing God, know him as your father, by being in his presence, is a blessing promise in this beauty. God's blessing. Look around you. Come to think of it. There are many things going on in the world today. Many challenges, obstacles, hardship, difficult times, especially amazing lockdown. But here you are. You got job. You can pay your bills. You even send support to Africa or to people in need. You help people. It is the Lord's blessing. Or it is God's blessing. The Bible says in Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of the Lord make rich and add no sorrow. But instead of all looking for God's blessing that, are, that make rich and add no sorrow, we are chasing riches of the world. We lose patience. We even want to acquire power through fetish powers. We go to demonic sources, to grandmasters, to principalities, to witch doctors. As long as you enter a shrine or an altar, you already enter the territory of the devil. They will ask you to remove your shoes. They will ask you to put something down. You go to church sometimes, you don't even give offering. You do not give offering. But here you are, you went to the fetish power or to the voodoo priest. You have to, is it, it, that the rule of engagement? No bypassing, you have to drop money, your finances. You already established point of contact with your money. You are in America, you call people in Africa to go to witch doctors on your behalf. Then you are so clever, you're going to the church singing, the praise singing. you are a deacon, a deaconess, you are holding key position in the church. But you know, you have link with the devil. Because you feel the God you are serving, the God is so slow to your liking. God do not answer or does not answer your prayer at the time you want it to be answered. Have you forgotten that he thought and not your thought, neither he ways are your ways? As the heavens are far above the earth, so God's thought and his ways are far above the earth. That's why he said Isaiah 55, beginning with verse 8 to 11. His word that he sent will not return to him void unless it accomplishes the purpose for which it was sent. But here we are, we lack patience. We lack endurance. No, no, no. Those attributes, they are for all school people. They are for my great-grandmothers. Our great-grandmothers who will be patient and bear patient, bear patient and say better days are ahead. No more waiting for better days are ahead. We want it now, the microwave, the microwave manner fast ever read, ready we don't want to wait for that long process no 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 we don't want to nurture the ground to fertilize the soil to plant the sea or to sow sea to water the sea so it can sprout out and we observe it all the time we protect it and make sure that God Grant us increase. Apollo's water, God gave their increase. I planted Apollo's water, and God gave their increase. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter how long you wait. Wait for the Lord's time. The, the blessing of the Lord's are the best. Be patient. It requires patience. The blessing of the Lord requires enduring patience. But no, 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 no. We lack a big time. We want to become governors, city mayor, senator, representatives. We go to the dark magician, to the fetish power, principality, occult priest. Because we want it our own way. We don't want to wait on the Lord's blessing. If you don't wait on the Lord's blessing, you are doomed. To compromise with the devil and you gave your soul in exchange for riches. Mark 
836 says, What shall it profit a man that he will gain this whole world and lose his soul? What shall it profit a man? Are you there thinking that God is so slow? There's God business. Oh, patient, patient. Every time, patient, patient. And patient to eat the fattest broom. And how long am I going to be patient? Am I going to be patient up to my old age? Oh, yes. The Bible says, Psalm 37 for 25 says, They will say he was young and now he's old. He has never seen the righteous forsaken, neither the children beg for bread. In Psalm 22, I mean Psalm 92, verse 12 says, The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. It is also written as in Isaiah 40, verse 31. He said, those who wait upon the Lord, he will renew their strength. They will mind up with wings as eagle. They will walk and not think. They will run and not get weary. That's the blessing of the Lord. Sometimes you look at someone's age. Their age is just a number. Someone who is 60 years old, they appear to be 20 years or 25 years old. It's the Lord's blessing. Because those who seek the Lord, they find him. He blessed them with long life. Well, longevity, he renewed that strength. When the eagle get old, the weathers, the weathers, the, the feathers are renewed. The eagle's feathers are renewed. Everything about the eagle is over her. That's how God treats those who put their trust in him. Instead of you rushing to all the fetish power, you want to become this, you want to become that in government. Seek the Lord says. Pray, intercede. Join your mothers, your fathers, your aunties. Create our lives with people of God. Seek the Lord's face. Matthew 7, 7, ask, and shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. To him who asks, receive. To who seek, finds. To whom who knock, the door shall be opened. But my question is, are you knocking at God's door today or are you knocking at the devil's door? Because God is so slow to answer so you are finding your own shortcut. Stop it. One servant cannot serve two masters. You will betray one and love another. For God, God is forgiving, compassionate, empathy, sympathy. It's all the virtues and the nature of God. But for the devil, one simple mistake, you are out. When you go to this fetish occultic priest, they often give you tiny stuff you don't know. They make you to kill your mother, your father, your children, your brother, your sister. You don't even know. They will tell you the devil is a liar. They are deceiver. They deceive you. They lure you into doing devilish things that you don't even know. So be careful how you go about seeking for the world of riches. You want to acquire wealth at all costs. By crooks or by means, you want to get rich. You want to become a president. You want to become a prime minister. You want to become a governor. You want to become a city councillor. You want to become a city mayor, police commissioner, police director, superintendent. Hey, seek the Lord's face. In Jesus' name, I'm going to read our scripture for today. James 1, 17. He said, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. With whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. The God or the blessing of the Lord make rich and add no sorrow. When God bless you, he blesses you. No condition attached. You don't have to make sacrifice. You don't have to give your first daughter. Or you don't have to sacrifice your brother. Or sacrifice your mom or your dad. When the Lord bless, the Lord bless. When the, before the Lord can bless you, the Lord will cause you to leave your comfort zone and take you to where he God wants you to go. In, in order of obedience. When you obey the Lord's voice, he asks you out. He said, leave. Like he did in the case of Abraham. He said, leave your father's house and your mother's house and go to the land which I will show you. 
Abraham did not say, oh, I don't know anyone there. Oh, how am I going to survive? How am I going to make it? But the law said, leave your father's house and your mother's house. Obedience is better than sacrifice. In order to be blessed by the law or to experience his blessing, you have to be obedient to his word. James 4 says, God opposed the pride he gave grace to the humble. Why are you so stubborn and you have forgotten the, the Lord's blessing? And you are underestimated the power of God and you are going seeking your own solution to fetish demonic authors, demonic shrines. Why are you so much hiding in your heart that you feel that God does not exist? Stop it. God's blessing are everlasting, genuine, guarantee, uncompromised. The devil's blessing is temporary. And it costs you your life. Because you are compromised of becoming a lesbian or a gay. Some of you are bisexual, you are married, and you are still lesbian or you are homosexual. Stop playing smart. The Lord revealed deep and secret things and he knows what lies in darkness. Darkness and light dwell with him. According to Daniel 2.22. Why are you deceiving yourselves? Galatians says 7, be ye not deceived. God is not more powerful. For whatever a man so so shall he reap. Why are you always deceiving yourself, thinking that you're playing smart? You are married, but you are in those dirty deeds. You practice it every day. You go to a job, you have your partners there. You come when you are a married man, you are a married woman. Why are you deceiving yourselves? Everything you do, God knows everything. Change from your ways. Change from your ugly ways, your ugly behavior. The world has nothing to offer you. Only destruction and sorrows. The devil will only cause you to languish in hell. In hell. hell is real and heaven is real. Seek ye for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. According to Matthew 6 and verse 33. This Lord that we are seeking all day. He is able to do. What no man can do with God, all things are possible. Matthew 9, 19, verse 26. Luke 1, 37. Luke 19, 24. God make everything possible for us when we seek him diligently. Why have we been so proven so stubborn? We don't want to bless God. We don't want to wait upon the Lord's time. We want to do things our own way. The Lord's blessing, the biblical blessing, are often associated with protection and happiness. God's blessings are meant to protect us, guide us to the path of righteousness and give us hope. But instead, we are looking for the shortcuts. The broad road lead to destruction, the express route. You that drive on the highway, you know the extra right. No limits. You just run. If you are not careful, it leads you to accident. It leads you to police trap. But the narrow road, the rocket road, it, it wasted time. There is somewhere delay, obstacles, but it leads you to satisfaction. That's how God bless us. He prepare us. In preparedness, there is so much that we experience. But when you bear it through it all, you will come out victoriously. Philippians 4, 19 say, And my God will supply every need of yours according to the riches in glory through Christ Jesus. James 5, 17, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. No variation or shadow due to change. When God bless you, no sun is going to, to smart you by day. The moon is not going to smart you by night. He will cause a pillow of cloud to call you during the day. And in the night, he will overshadow with a pillow of fire. There will be no darkness in your path. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, The word of the Lord is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. If you believe it. 
Psalm 119 verse 89 says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled. The word of God is forever settled. God does not lie. He's not a man to lie. Noah 23, 19 says it. Why he says he does, why he promises he fulfill. Oh, yes. Is that children that you're looking for? That you're not patient, you're going to fetish power? To give you children. Those children you're seeking, they are marrying incarnates. The money, demons they are giving you. You give birth to the children, but you're not satisfied. You're not happy. Trouble has taken you from A to Z. You trouble. There is no peace in your home. Those children have become wayward. They are not listening because they are the seed of the devil. They are marrying children. Demons incarnation is what they gave you. You are not patient to wait on God's side. You went to the river. You went to the occult priest to enchant. So, but you know why you went to to give birth to children. The occult, the occult priest even want to lie in bed with you. They said that's the only way out. You see how the devil is a deceiver? May the Lord deliver us, us all. Wait on the Lord's time. Numbers 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make the, his face to shine upon you. And may he be gracious to you. The Lord lifts up his countenance upon you and gave you peace. That's the Lord's blessing. As I for the one for sin says, Fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will lift you up and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. When the Lord bless you, he ups hopes you. You will be in that government ship or in that position. And people will rise up against you. They will plot your rules. They will character assassinate you. But God here will be on top of your head. Because a blessing may reach and added no sorrow. No matter what the devil or the enemy does to go and free me up, they will not prevail against you. Jeremiah 1 19 says, They will surely attack you, but they will not prevail against you. The Lord will come to your rescue. He will deliver you. So why are you so afraid of? Tell John 1 2. He said, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you, that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul or as your soul prosper. But we lack patience. We lack endurance. Children of God have to be patient. It does not just happen overnight. It goes with long suffering, endurance, hardship, persecution, trials and temptation, tribulation. But when you wait upon the law, he renews your strength. You will mount up with wings as ego. You will walk and not faint and you will run and not get weary. Isaiah 40, 31. Why are you losing patience and you don't wait on God's time to experience God's blessings? John 1 says, since the infant, his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. Blessing upon blessing. In his fullness. In the Lord's fullness of time. Wait for the Lord's fullness of time in your lives. Everything you so desire, just seek him first. Diligently with all your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. Obey the rules of engagement. Apply the principle of the Bible. Give and shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Running over. Shall men give back unto your bosom. They're going to look 638. Know the principle. In order for God to bless you, you have to apply those principles that can stir God's up. So see in the needed. You have so many people around you that have needs. Look at them. Surprise them. Bless the ministry of God. Stop passing judgment on the people of God. Whatever they do with God's money, let God deal with them. It is not your business. 1 Corinthians 9, 14 says, Those who preach on the altar, live on the altar. Those who preach the gospel, live on the gospel. Or live by the gospel. Remember it today. Mm -hmm. 
Two of those things that the Lord has asked you to do. Start complaining, warning, nagging around. Be appreciated. Be thankful. Give things with a faithful heart. Whenever you appreciate God sincerely, God bless you. He surprised you. So God, I thank you for waking me, my family up this morning, for making provision for us. Oh Lord, we thank you. We are believing you and trusting you. We know you are already answer our prayers. It moves God. Stop complaining, warning over nothing. May the Lord bless us all today. May he cause his face to shine on us. Remember the blessing of the Lord made reason adding no sorrow. Philippians 4, 7 says, The peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Let the peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding guide our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. Let God be the light of, in our salvation. Seek you for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. Remember what shall a prophet a man to gain this whole world and lose your soul. If you want to earn anything in life, make God first. Put God in, in charge of everything. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10, 31, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. In order to experience God's blessing or the Lord's blessing that make rich and add no sorrow, you have to lay down the principle of God and abide by them, the Ten Commandments, the do's and the don'ts. There is no bypassing, no bribery. I'm sorry. Stand for the truth. Don't compromise. Preserve your bodies as a living sacrifice. First, if you're a lady and you're not yet married, stop following people's husband. You cannot have something in your head you ask God for. The same thing is not possible. You have to let go and let go. The truth is better. But 2 Timothy 3, verse 16, may all to understand that the word of God or the scripture is when proven or given to teach or to rebuke us for reproof, for correction, and for righteousness. When the people of God are preaching and saying the word of God and tell you, tell you and how to repent or ask you, repent, change from your ways, do not live in sin, it's the word of God. God wants you to make heaven. He wishes above all that we prosper as our soul prosper. God does not wish us to go to hell. That's why he's so patient. His steadfast love are new every morning, according to Lamentation 3, 22 to 23. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His messiness never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is our faithfulness. Seek the Lord why he can be found now. We know we all talk about grace. We are living on our grace Period. But the Bible makes us understand in Romans 6, verse 1 and 2, verse 15 and verse 18. It is forbidden. Honor law, sin is forbidden, and honor grace, sin is forbidden. Sin is forbidden in every aspect of life, in the sight of God. God doesn't like us to compromise and live a sinful life. Lies, stealing, deniers, adultery, fornication. But the common thing that would take a lot of people to hear is lies. The man who is an armed robber, who, who launched a bomb and killed thousands of people and you will be condemned the same way because of lies. Those constant lies, we have to pray for the Lord to forgive us and the Holy Spirit to remind us and help us into the right thing. May the Lord bless us today. May he cause his face to shine on us. And may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, we guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And come to Philippians 4, 7. Remember, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. If we depend on God for anything, God answer us. When we ask God anything, we believe, we don't doubt. He hear us, he forgive us. And come to Mark 11, verse 24. 
But we ought to forgive our brothers and sisters before we ask God anything for it to be granted us according to his own purpose and plan for our lives. We have to be forgiven. We have to forgive our brothers and sisters 70 times 7 in a second time. In a changing of an eye. May the Lord help us and deliver us for every spirit that is not of God. In Jesus' name. In order to obtain the Lord's blessing, we have to apply his principles. Give, it shall be given unto you. Who measures, press down, shaking together. So cease in the ministry of the gospel. Bless people in need. Bless the work of God. Pay your tithes into your respected ministry. You said there is a lockdown. A lot of people are not going to church. There is restriction, yes. But the ministry of the gospel, they have online giving. They have everything is outlined. Your ministry, you know. Your ministry have their way of giving. So sees into the work of God. So many souls can be won. People in third world countries, in poor countries, they need help for the gospel to be preached, to be shared all over the world. Help making disciples of all nations. Help evangelizing and spreading the gospel. It is a commandment. The Bible says we should go and evangelize, make disciples in all the nations. But in order to do so, it takes money. It takes effort. It takes resources. It takes sacrifice. The pastors, the men of God, cannot just walk to all the places they have to drive. They have to take plane to go. They need to buy a plane ticket. It requires money. If the Lord can bless the men of God with free air aircraft to take them to everywhere, so be it them. Thank God for that. But till then, it requires money. Bless the ministry of the gospel. Bless the servant of God. So see into the lives of your pastors. Bless people. There are widows, there are orphans, there are people that have needs, special needs. People that are facing challenges with disabilities. They are handicaps. You know who they are. There are people that are homeless, drug addicts, people that are displaced. Some people are refugees. You know where they are. You know them in your respective countries. There are still refugee camps in the world. People still suffer for drinking water. Thank God for the servant of God that have sacrificed to make sure people have good drinking water in certain remote African countries and Asian countries or third world countries or countries in the world. Not all that glitters is gold. Seek ye first the kingdom of God in his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. All other things not have. Everything, everything you so desire will be added unto you. May the Lord bless us today. May he cause his face to shine on us. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord's blessing make rich and added no sorrow. All good and perfect gift come from God according to our scripture, James 1, 17. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for this day. Thank you for your people that are watching. Thank you for your blessing that make rich and added no sorrow according to Proverbs 10 verse 22. Thank you for your sons and daughters and father. Thank you that you lay on their hearts to wait on you and be patient. To also wait upon the Lord, you renew their strength. They mount up with wings as eagles. They walk and not faint and they run and not get away with according to Isaiah 40, 31. Father, we thank you. You say you shall arise and have compassion on Zion. For the time to favor her, yet set time is now according to Psalm 102, verse 13. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to read Psalm 75, I think. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 75, thank you. Those are you seeking, you're seeking the law of faith. Psalm 71, verse 21 say, You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. The Lord shall increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. Those who seek in the Lord's faith diligently. Psalm 75. For promotion does not come from the east, neither from the west, nor from the south. But the God is a judge. He put down one and he exalt another. When you trust in God, God will put down one and exalt you. That's the word for someone today. The Lord shall increase you and comfort you on every side. When you believe in God. When you wait on the Lord's time. Promotion comes not from the east, from the west, not from the south. The Lord is the judge. 
He removes one, he redeemed one, and he promotes one and another. This is a word for someone today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Be patient and wait on God's time so you can enjoy the Lord's blessing that make rich and add no sorrow. That seed is so desire, the Lord is going to grant it unto you according to your wish. But you have to seek him diligently to not compromise. I repeat, to not compromise God to fetish power. See God faith, face faithfully. Build an altar for the Lord in your home and pray faithfully. The Lord will grant your heart desire. He will increase you and comfort you on every side. Then you will frustrate the device of the crafter so that he cannot carry all the attacks against you. Every man or every witchcraft working against you, the Lord will frustrate the device of the crafter. Every manipulation against you will not work. It will not hold. Every conspiracy against you will not materialize because the Lord His is upon you. Father, I thank you for your people. Help them, O oh God, remove every obstacle from their way. That they may know you in the power of your restoration, according to Philippians 3 and verse 10. Father, we thank you. Thank you for removing every dark cloud over your people. Thank you for removing all, every obstacle. We pray for this country, America. We commit the forthcoming election into your hand. Even as they are in the campaign mood, they are traveling from one state to another. Father, guard them against every harm and danger, every instability. That the devil is programming in the minds of people. We can't say about the blood of Jesus. Promotion comes not from the east, from the west, or from the north, or from the south. It comes from the Lord Almighty. The Lord is the right judge. He brings down one and he is not another. The Lord knows what the best for you and I. God look at the heart. While we look at the utterances, the, the, the species, or the an, an analyst. How we analyze our speech, our grammar, our sentence structure. It's not what God is looking at. God knows who is best for you and I. The Lord knows who is best. And he knows what is best for us. The one you so desire may not be the one that is the best. God looks at the heart. As we are even standing talking, as I'm talking, God knows at, at the content of my heart. He's omnipotent, omnipresent, omnipresent. Fear God, which is the beginning of wisdom. When you fear God, you do what is right in your sight. He blesses you. He brings down one and he exalts another. This is a word for someone today. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless us all. I will wait upon the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be patient. Wait on the Lord. I will wait upon the Lord. I will wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. He will renew your strength. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I'll cover this town of broadcast with the blood of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for your blessing that make me and added no sorrow. Your blessing don't have no pity. Don't have no sorrow. Don't have no calamity. Don't have no disaster. But if we do not wait on you patiently, we go after the worst riches. All oh, the world riches as sorrow, peace, disgrace, calamity, disaster. But Lord, have mercy on your people. Remove every obstacle. Every demonic manipulation, manifestation against them. Father, remove it by the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Have you given your life to Jesus yet so he can set you free? As he set you free, you will live with him in eternity. Romans 10 verse 9 says, With the mouth one confess that Jesus is Lord, and with the heart one believe that God has raised him from the dead, and you will be safe. For with the heart one belief unto righteousness, and with the more confession is made unto salvation. Lord, help us today that we may know you in the power of your restoration. That we may seek blessings from above from you. Because every good and perfect gift comes from you, God. But every gift from the devil is temporary and is calamity. It's a bondage. Every gift from the devil is a bondage. But every good gift comes from you. Because a blessing from you make rich and add no sorrow. Father, we thank you. We bless you today. 
Cover us with your blood. Cover us, make provision for us. Heal someone that is sick right now. Meet someone at the point of their knees. Someone that needs status in this country. Provide for them, oh God. Father, thank you for you answer us whenever we pray. Revelation 3, 20 says, say, Behold, you are standing at the, at the door of our heart. You are knocking. Whoever hear your voice and invite you into our hearts or into their hearts, you will come in and dine with them. And they will be with you. Lord, we thank you. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. You are able, God. Thank you, Father. You are a good, good Father. You are so good to us. We're going to worship you right now. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to worship you. Because you are able to be good. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is nobody like you, Lord. We are experienced on such a God. God. Almighty God. The sovereign God we are experiencing. The immortal God. The I am we are experiencing God. The glorious God we are experiencing God. I have experienced the essential God. The Almighty Father, the El Shaddai, Mashika, da 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 Musa. The I am, I am. We are experiencing God. We are experiencing the precious God. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory, Lord. We give you all the honor, Lord. Adoration, Lord. We give you all the worship. We did. You deserve our worship, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. Abba Father. We glorify your name, Lord. There is no one like my Father. There is no one like you, Lord. Abba Father. We glorify your name, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, Jesus. Abba Father. We glorify your name, Lord. There is no There is no one like you, Lord. We call you our final no. me, God, the beginning of the end, Lord. We glorify your name. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you. Our final no. me, God. We glorify your name, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you. I'm fighting for me, God. We glorify your name, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, Father. We take you for your people right now. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. As we leave you, we not leave in your presence, Lord. Father, let your presence go with us right now and be with us, oh God. Father, cause your face to shine upon us right now, oh God. Cause your face to shine upon us, Lord. We thank you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Baba, everyone, have a blessed day. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength.